friends and welcome back to Naturally Corporate. So today I want to talk to you about a company called Mori Beauty. Now Mori Beauty reached out to me and asked if I would like to try and review their hair care products and i would never heard of Mori before, wasn't familiar with them at all so I'm glad that they left a link to their website for me to visit and I did what anybody else would do, I googled them to learn more about their hair care line. So Mori told me that they are an award-winning hair care brand that offers solutions for damaged and dry hair. And I'm thinking, well, why are they reaching out to me? Because I don't have damaged hair, but because my hair is 100% chemical free, it does tend to get dry and I do have very fine hair. So I said, sure, you know, let me go to the website and learn a little bit more about Mori Beauty. So I went to the Mori webpage to see exactly what they had to offer. Now, first off, I love that their main page displays hashtag hair goals no matter the age in big bold letters. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, Mori claims to be a luxury hair care line and also the first hair care line that includes fulvic minerals in their products. And then they list the four key ways your hair can benefit from the products. You can see them there. Now, their fulvic mineral formula says it works for all hair types and was developed to restore weak, frizzy, and unhealthy hair, so ultimately promoting hair growth. I couldn't find on the website a direct definition of what fulvic minerals are unless I missed it. However, I did see something about fulvic acid, which Maury says is a 100% occurring super material, which helps facilitate nutrients into the hair follicle. So after visiting the Mori website, I figured, you know, these products look pretty good. They really claim to be packed with lots of vitamins and minerals and just a lot of good things. And I'm sure my hair could benefit from some of them. So I said, sure, go ahead and send me the products. I'd like to try them out. I must tell you, when I went to the website, though, I didn't see anybody featured or showcased on the Mori Beauty website that looked like me or had hair like my hair. So quite naturally, I second guessed myself and I said, well, you know, is this product line really for me? You know, because there's no representation of me or my hair on the website. Giving the benefit of the doubt and call me crazy, but giving the company the benefit of the doubt and like I said all of the great ingredients that their products um, are made of I said let me give it a shot because you just you just never know it may do wonders for my hair so I let Mori know yes go ahead and send me the products I was excited about them they arrived in the mail several days later and I put them to the side uh, and just waited for my next wash day so before we get into wash day, I want to show you the products that Mori Beauty sent me. So I got this nice box and it was full of product. Mori sent me two shampoo, one conditioner. I got the repairing hair mask and also the ultimate growth spray. And y'all, honestly, I was really excited when I opened the box because, well, number one, it was heavy. Before I opened it, it was heavy. And then I got full-size products. No travel sizes, no sample sizes. These are all full-size products. Um, so I was pretty pleased. And as soon as I opened it to look at everything I got, I went back to the website to see how much all of this cost. And I can see why... Mori <laughs> is a luxury hair care line and an award-winning hair care brand because the price tag on this particular bundle is not cheap. It does cost a pretty penny. And that just even upped my excitement to try these products. So let's get into wash day and you can hear my final thoughts at the end about the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair mask, and the growth spray. 
I immediately noticed that the shampoo was a bit thin. It's a bit runnier than what I'm used to. It contains 77 minerals, five vitamins, and 18 amino acids. It has a really nice scent, like a, um, like a citrus orange. Um, and my first lather was rather awkward because as you can see, it's not lathering in my crown area. It was really weird, like the shampoo just wouldn't attach to it or something. And my hair was 100% wet. It was very unusual. So the second shampoo was much better. I got a really good lather the second time. However, my hair was very tangled when I washed it out and it just really felt completely stripped. And it was practically matted in some areas highly unusual. My hair does not behave that way. And there was no way I could apply conditioner yet because I couldn't even get a comb through certain areas of it, much less my fingers through certain areas of it. So I took some time to detangle. It took me about 10, maybe even 15 minutes to get to a point where I could comb through it. So what I did do though, is I added some conditioner and that helped me in the detangling process. My hair seemed to like the conditioner pretty good and my hair absorbed it nicely. And just like the shampoo, the conditioner has 77 minerals, five vitamins and 18 amino acids. One thing with the conditioner though, it had a really strong scent of alcohol. So that was a bit concerning because that just kind of made me feel like it was drying out my hair. But y'all, I kept going. I think I mentioned already how my hair really seemed to soak up the conditioner. So that was pretty impressive. So after I washed out the conditioner, I went right ahead with putting on the hair mask. And again, it has a mild citrus scent, just like everything else in the line. There wasn't an amazing amount of slip with the hair mask, um, nor the conditioner either for that matter. But the, the hair mask wasn't too bad though. I did have really high hopes for the mask because um, on the side of the package, it does say that it helps to cope with dry, damaged, and unmanageable hair. So my hair is is not unmanageable nor is it damaged but like I've mentioned it can be dry and I think that's the purpose of a hair mask is to really just kind of coat your hair and maybe put a protective barrier on it at least that's what I think so I was really hoping that I would really like the hair mask um, it's supposed to make it easier uh, smooth and easier to comb. And yeah, I will admit uh, the mask did make my hair easier to comb, but at this point, anything was better than how tangled and dry and nearly matted my hair was after that shampoo. Now this hair mask also contains some other good ingredients. It has coconut and macadamia oils. Also it has shea butter and caffeine which is a well we know caffeine is a stimulant but it also has caffeine which is supposed to stimulate hair growth so so far so good with this hair mask everything sounds really good but we shall see and what I did is um I put my plastic cap on and let it just kind of sit for 15 minutes. I did not use heat. The website didn't say to use heat with the hair mask so you know so I didn't. And then the very last step in wash day using Mori Beauty products is I use the Ultimate Growth Spray. And I love the way this made my scalp feel nice and tingly. It's um, like tea tree or, or peppermint. And this also paraben free, fragrance free, cruelty free, silicone free, SLS free, and GMO free. So every, you know, they're the, the, the brand is really consistent with their products and just really trying to, I guess, make them as clean as possible. This uh, has biotin, I mentioned caffeine, and then it has all the great vitamins and minerals. So um, we'll see how this growth spray does. And I really tried to hit my entire scalp with the spray, um, particularly my very fine area right here in the back. My hair is really fine back there, fine and thin. So I put it in, just kind of massaged it in and then massaged my entire head just to make sure that, hey, I got it in really good. And um, hopefully my hair can benefit from this ultimate growth spray. 
So at this point, I was at the very end of my first wash day using the Mori Beauty products, combing my hair through and getting ready to dry my hair and proceed with my usual styling. Okay, so fast forward about a week. This is the end of my second wash day with Mori Beauty. One side of my head is shampooed. It's blown dry and then pinned up. But the half that you're looking at now is severely tangled. And this is after shampooing and conditioning. I did not use the hair mask because I didn't want to use it every week. The reason I split my hair into two sections or into two halves is because it was so tangled and separating it was the best way for me to even get through it. It was very, very frustrating. I'm literally having to pull my hair, pull it apart just to get to the root. Very, very frustrating. End of wash day two. Guys, I really wanted to love Mori Beauty, but I honestly have mixed feelings about it. I really do. And I'm, I just, I'm on the fence whether it's for my hair. So the shampoo was very stripping it felt more like a uh, an extreme clarifying shampoo. I know that my hair is kind of stripped of everything when I when I can literally hear the the squeak. I can I can hear and feel the squeak. So that's exactly how my hair felt and I used all of the products on three separate wash days. I didn't share the third one with you, but I used it three times because I really, really wanted to make sure that I found my rhythm with all of the products and I was using everything to my hair's advantage. Um, I didn't quite get that. So the shampoo really, really pulled all of, all of the moisture out of my hair. I wasn't so concerned because I said, hey, maybe it's a clarifier and it's getting rid of all the buildup and, and, and everything that's in my hair. When it came to the conditioner, the conditioner really helped me detangle. So that was a plus, but I shouldn't have had to detangle that hard <laughs> after shampooing. That's not typical of my hair. I, that's not typical of my hair. I had to do some really, really intense detangling. So the conditioner helped a lot and my hair really seemed to soak up the conditioner. So that was a plus. But then when I rinsed the conditioner out, it's like it all washed down the drain. All the moisture washed away with the conditioner. I wasn't, I wasn't, I hadn't thrown in the towel yet because I still had the hair mask. I applied the hair mask and I did not use heat because I still haven't purchased a, a new hooded dryer. But I used um, the, the hair mask, let it stay on for 15 minutes. As per the directions, the directions do not state to use heat. So I still figured I would be okay. I never recouped the moisture in my hair that the shampoo took out. And that's what makes me come to the conclusion that this hair care line is just not for my hair. Um, also too, what was interesting to me, I got two shampoos and one conditioner and I don't shampoo my hair that often to require two shampoos and then one conditioner. I would have honestly preferred to have gotten one shampoo and two conditioners because my hair is dry. So I need all the moisture I can get. And I feel like, you know, if this bundle had really been put together for me, perhaps I would have gotten two conditioners because I, like I mentioned, my hair is not damaged. Now, I will say, I do know that, um, you know, <laughs> other ethnicities may shampoo every day and go through more shampoo. So I feel like that was an indicator that should have been an, an indicator to me that maybe this line, again, was not for me. Plus, they're not being representation of me on the Mori Beauty website. But it's still okay. I think that the products are, um, you know, packed with so many minerals and vitamins. 
it's just not they just don't work for my hair and that's okay that's why the market is so big because if one hairline doesn't work there's another that will so I just feel like the products are not quite geared toward me I will let me speak on the hair growth spray the ultimate growth spray now this um, the verdict is out on this. I, I don't have anything bad to say about this. It makes my hair, it made my hair, my scalp rather, feel nice and tingly. So when you think about the ultimate growth spray, think of tea tree and peppermint. So, um, so this, you know, may do the trick and may stimulate my scalp for, you know, hair growth and, and just to, to get things going. But I just feel like my hair didn't benefit from this hairline. Um, but that doesn't mean that it won't work for the next person. So I want to thank Mori Beauty for sending me this uh, fantastic full box and with full size products in it. And I definitely will continue to use the Ultimate Growth Spray. And I think I may try the hair mask and maybe mix in some oil. My hair likes argan oil. I have fine hair and argan oil is a very light oil and does not weigh my hair down. So um, I think I will probably mix in some argan oil with the hair mask and see if, if that makes any difference because I certainly, I don't want to count the hair care line out. The shampoo and conditioner just may not work for me, but um, we'll see what, I'll see if I can do something with the hair mask. So thank you, Mori Beauty, for sending me the hair care products. I absolutely appreciate it. Um, and I wanted to give my thorough and honest review on the products. So thank you friends for watching this video. I appreciate you as always. If you found value in this video, please let me know in the comments. And if you like this type of content, content that I share on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, keep it naturally corporate.